Hello there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. Welcome back to another fragrance review and I hope you all are doing well. So the summers have moved on and it's monsoon season here. It's raining in most places or otherwise it's a little cold. So it's the same in Bangalore as well. It's mostly raining in most days. Otherwise it's a little cold and it gets very, very, you know, uh, cold, damp and moist kind of a weather. So we're looking at fragrances that are actually uh, going towards that weather which can fit into monsoon and spring. And I've come across a very nice fragrance that fits this particular season very very well especially if you're looking to uh, wear something floral where if you, are, you want to wear something musky that's really beautifully done so yes we are talking about from the house of Naseem this is called as summer 69 and uh, this kind of you know blew me away uh, because I an did not anticipate this particular fragrance to be this good or the way it kind of you know smelled uh, and the lasting and all of that let's talk all about it and uh, why I think this is such an underrated fragrance to look at this year from the house of uh, you know Naseem fragrances called Summer 69. You're watching The Perfume Experience. My name is Rodney. Let's get going right after this intro. So welcome back and uh, we are talking about Naseem's Summer 69. This is from their uh, premium line of fragrances. They do have a lot of other fragrances as well. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. This is a partial that we got because we kind of like Naseem's uh, Ocean Enigma. We also have Aqua as well. So we added this along with Lost uh, in the Woods as well. So we bought this particular high partial and uh, they are officially in India now. Naseem is actually available in India. They have a website from where you can buy this particular fragrance. So this is called summer 69 so i was kind of looking for a very fresh citrusy summer kind of a fragrance but it actually kind of you know surprised me by not being that and being something else altogether so we're going to talk about this particular scent profile so let's see what it smells like so i don't have the box i kind of you know threw away the box so the liquid that comes in all nasim fragrances is actually white in color because this is alcohol free so it kind of looks like this so i will do a quick spray because you just need a little bit to get the idea of the fragrance and you will see this kind of a white patch that you will see that's pretty much how the fragrance kind of you know um, looks like on the skin and it smells very very nice now it will remain a little like this for a few seconds and then it will kind of you know vanish off so if you're look, thinking how does it affect on clothes it actually doesn't leave any stains as such and this is uh, actually a good experience to wear uh, water-based fragrances or to wear alcohol-free fragrances because even Dior is also is launching the uh, Sauvage in, an, um, uh, in a series called Au Forte, which is also basically a water-based fragrance. So you kind of see there's a lot of trend that's going towards uh, non-alcoholic fragrances and this uh, house Naseem is pretty good when it comes to this kind of a fragrance setup. Now this is about 20 ml uh, roughly or little lesser than that I would say because the bottle itself is only about 50, 75 ml if I'm not wrong. Right? So you smell very nice and you kind of you know recognize the fragrance hints very very much and let's talk about that. You kind of get a, a you know basically a kind of a green leafy vibe that's happening and along with that you will find a layer of rose in my opinion that's a you know floral vibe that you kind of get. You get a good hint of musk that's going across and you do get a light hint of fruity elements as well and then you get a little bit of a sweetness. That's predominantly the way this particular fragrance smells. It is not um, a floral uh, woman type of uh, rose fragrance. It's more of a musk, masculine, that kind of a fragrance which brings a lot of this vibe of spring, summer, not really summer but then you know it brings about the energy of you know the uh, calm, uh, peaceful greens in the area, the you know the gardens and all of that, that kind of a vibe and it smells very very nice actually. From a notes point of view this fragrance actually opens with a little bit of uh, citrus notes but then you don't really get uh, you know uh, any hints of citrus. It's hardly there. You do get good amount of green leafy vibes. That's like I mentioned, you know, you do definitely sense that green herbaceous vibe. Along with that, a lot of fruity elements. So there may be a concoction of different fruit uh, elements like, you know, pear, like tart, like strawberries. That kind of a vibe is something that you get. Followed by a good amount of rose, uh, jasmine, or lily of the valley. These kind of, you know, uh, floral hints is something that you kind of, you know, get, which is kind of made very, very well. Followed by you do have vetiver in this particular fragrance as well, but then the vetiver is very mild, very light. You do have suede leather, okay? Now, not the type of animalic leather, suede leather is more softer, more comfortable, uh, more, um, you know, 
creamy you know uh, you know that kind of thing that is what you get along with a little bit of an amber and musk right so what you predominantly get is a structure that's got a uh, floral uh, fruity vibes with a little bit of a green touch and then you have a lot of white floral elements like jasmine lily of the all, uh, valley you have osmanthuses so these things and then of course you do have good amount of um, velvety feeling like you know uh, suede leather you do have amber you have musk so and vetiver now vetiver again is again not earthy here not dirty it's very creamy dry you don't sense that so much what you kind of get uh, very much is that nice element of rose and the rose is more sharper more dark mysterious type of a rose is something that i would say along with the musk and amber that works very well with a little bit of a fruity vibe now that was a scent of and that's why i said it surprised me because from the name you would think that you are getting a citrusy summer fragrance but then you are actually getting something totally different which is very unisex and men can wear it easily because it is one of those rose musk kind of a fragrance that's working very well and it will definitely garner compliments from it now more than the smell of the fragrance or the scent of the fragrance what i really like is the way this thing performs oh my god you put on four or five sprays or six sprays on your apparel and you will be surprised that this thing smells loud and good for eight hours, nine hours or even more than that, right? So that is something which was I was not at all expecting from this fragrance because the performance is top notch. Now, you do kind of get a very good, uh, you know, uh, element of the quality of the fragrance. It projects really well because of that slight amount of note, though you think you would kind of you know also makes you feel that it could be a soft scent but it actually is pretty loud it could also make you a little bit of a nose blind as well but then it projects for a long time you get good projection for two three hours that way though being you know water-based non-alcoholic fragrances it actually works very well and that's very surprising it does about three feet easily and it kind of you know carries on with you that way for a long time and after the three hour mark also when it starts to go down it is still loud it does not become skin scent and vanish even after seven eight hours on apparel you will easily get it for a whole day now I've worn this about four or five times now and every a uh, couple of times I've worn it two times in a day like you know morning ones and evening ones you will pretty much have this fragrance on your even the next day right so you will not a 24 hour window if you've done like two spray uh, two intervals of sprays of let's say six six sprays each you will still be able to smell this fragrance even the next day which is fab so it actually goes beyond the eight hour nine hour mark like that I was talking about and that's the best part about this particular fragrance especially for folks who kind of like fragrances that have got a rose in them, that have got a green herbaceous vibe, that have got a little bit of amber and definitely musk, okay? And like I said, because it is kind of made very complex in a very nice way, it actually feels like you're wearing this particular fragrance for celebrations or special occasions and you want to go in for date nights or you want to wear something very classy, very unique. This is something that you should definitely give this a try because it smells absolutely wonderful. It does have a little bit of a sweetness because there's a lot of fruity elements in this and also because there is rose and like I said the greeny element is uh, you know there in a lot of fragrances as well like if you look at Inisho's musk uh, you know uh, paragon as well there is that amount of green herby vibe that is not something very um, it's not like the uh, masculine sense where it's outrightly there and it's annoying it's definitely not that type it's more mellow it's lightly at the background but what you get is a rose ambery musky kind of a fragrance which is working very well with those white florals playing in the background that gives you a very nice element now i would say this is perfect for meetings it is perfect for office wear if you're wearing a white shirt or something like that you want something uh, floral you want something complicated something that can garner compliments for you this is a fragrance that you should definitely try right and you get this for about 2250 rupees on their website i think they have they do have a site-wide offer about 10%. So you should be able to get this for 2000 rupees, which is a 75 ml volume, but it smells very, very nice. And the other element is you can do less number of sprays because it lasts longer and it projects very, very much. So, but definitely not a summer fragrance. It's more of a winter, spring, 
you know the monsoon type of a season you want something in the evenings to wear you want to wear it for celebrations all of that you can comfortably blind buy this right now we did get this in decants that's where we had but we've kind of you know sold out this particular fragrance but i would definitely encourage you to try it if you like a nice rosy musky kind of a fragrance that's extremely pocket friendly and i think anybody can wear it uh, you know there is no age group as such but i would say it depends on the occasion that you wear if this is one that suited for celebrations divine interventions or you are just sitting there and you want some peace a zen mode you can definitely consider getting this right so that's what i thought about nasim's summer 69 a fab fragrance and i'm blown away by the quality of fragrances that come from this particular house because the performance is one department that they kick everything out of the place especially when you think about fragrances like amud al maghrabi and all of that this is very very nice more um, softer more um, uh, elegant and you know more classy way of doing fragrances so this is nasim's summer 69 and if you like the video hit the like button subscribe and comment because that really motivates me and i am working on a fragrance list for monsoons and as well as a vetiver special fragrance list as well and a floral fragrance list as well and that's why i kind of you know started with this particular fragrance we'll talk about more of those in the coming days and i will see you on another video until another time take care bye bye